Damien, thank you so much for your time today. Um, we're here, Pete and Matt from Floodlight. We just wanted to catch up with you um, and just ask you a couple of questions um, and get a bit of a background to you. So how, how, what's your background and how did you get started yeah. with Momo? So um, my background is in digital and analytics in financial services. Um, I've always loved data and business business analytics and using data to make decisions, um, even at home, mm -hmm. in my personal life as well. Um, I'm now the, the founder and director of Momo Bar behind you. Um, it's a um, sort of a, almost like a fusion restaurant. We wouldn't call it that. <laughs> That's yeah. um, what it sort of is. We've brought together two completely diverse product ranges. Mm -hmm. Nepalese dumplings, basically from the Himalayas. Um, combined with OK Bowls, which are a big trend in Sydney and mm. popping up everywhere, and, um, and they're uh, from Hawaii essentially. Mm -hmm. So we brought the, the Himalayas and the Hula together. Yeah. Um, we got told not to do it, um, only do one, um, but the customers are loving having both, yeah. um, and it's, um, it's going really well. I, I call Floodlight the Nevada of analytics. Um, Floodlight and Pulse the, the Nevada of analytics. Like, Back in financial services, um, integrating you know key data sets in your sales, your workforce, and time sheeting, uh, and your accounting uh, from say zero, for example, um, and just getting that to talk to each other, either centralised, that in it was a headache within itself. Mm -hmm. You probably blow all your budget before even getting any insights out the back of that. Um, I think the guys at <laughs> Flowlight have achieved the nirvana of that because not only have you got all that together in one place and understand the relationship between key business drivers and you know the sales, you know, the relationship with the cost of goods sold, um, together with you know your workforce time sheeting to um, you know which shifts are the most profitable and how to you know, optimize um, your rostering to to get the best outcome and you know also this is demand supply management as well. Um, but really importantly having Having that right here in the palm of my hand, and then being able to go on my MacBook later on at home to deep, deep, to deep further and investigate further. Like right now, I could crack this app open and I could see, okay, it's the lull between lunch and, and dinner, but we've got too many staff on. I could go in and talk to my wife and business partner and say, hey, why don't we um, see if we can um, get them doing something else or yeah. make yeah. a different decision right now. I could turn around and do that right now. Actually, I could do that now. <laughs> but, um, awesome. Yeah, that's that's the power of it. And, you know, just checking that all the time. Yeah, um, yeah it's, it's just made our know, lives a lot easier. Even um, importantly as well, you know, my uh, wife and business partner um, and other people who are involved in the management had no idea about data and analytics. And these guys are you know, raving on about sending screenshots of our results and really understanding you know, our business um, in a way that they never could have before. Um, so you don't have to be someone like me who was a previous head of analytics who's run you know, big analytics programs mm. and you know, having a bread and butter. But anyone, who, um, anyone who's got an iPhone or can use an app <laughs> can yeah. basically use data to make better decisions and basically use digital tools to improve the productivity of their business. Just, it, it's really, really quite powerful. Fantastic. Awesome.